Hello everyone. Mm, yesterday I went to watch Kaguya Samara movie. And it was beautiful. Let me tell you something, my dear Aninionis. For manga readers, there is only one consens consensus that you could say about the manga, and that would be which art is the worst. Really, there is one art that it really is the worst. But when it comes to the best one, however, if I had to talk for the whole community, I say that the cultural festival art, which we saw in season three, takes the cake. Um, if there is an art that could give it a run for its money or even overtake it, who it would be the one featured in this movie? Now, I don't like spoiling things, so this might be a short video. But let's start by saying that you won't be disappointed. This art touches a thing, a thing that most that is mostly disregarded in romance anime, like Alone Roncons. I think the closest anime to bring me up is Oregairu, and it did it indirectly. This thing can get very complex depending on the person, so navigating through it the way Akasaka did it is nothing short of genius, because I'm not going to lie to you. When this art began, it was criticized. Well, you didn't take too long for our Lord and Savior to dispel all dogs. And um, don't be scared. Don't be scared. It look. Uh, by the way, I'm talking about this. It looks like you're in for a drama. And drama there will be. But don't worry. You are still going to laugh. You are going to laugh a lot. Because this is still Kaguya-sama, Love is War, and it lives and dies by its comedy. You will get the gorgeous visuals we are used to. Music that slacks, and stellar voice act acting the go of narrators and our lovely idiots under shenanigans. If you think that Kaguya Sama already picked and there is nothing left, think again. You have seen nothing yet. And for my main girl bros, we won big chess. We got our four pages and forty seconds. And out.